How many um, rapid tests have you personally paid for? Um, well, I have to check with Jen because she, um, she's the one that goes and, and gets them um, for, for those situations. I mean, there are tests that the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet have available and they make them available. They make them available to department staff. I, I'm an employee in this building like, like everybody else. And so I access them in the same way that others might in those circumstances. But um, when they've been used for private use, um, then you know, Jen's popped around to the chemist or wherever she's gone. I think recently she went to one here in Canberra um, for that reason, was able to eventually find one, just like everyone else driving around looking to find one. Why weren't more um, supplies of rapid antigen tests secured earlier, given the department had modelled scenarios in which a, a more contagious strain of the virus would place pressure on testing clinics? Well, the Australian government um, did secure um, the testing supplies we needed for rapid antigen testing to deal with the Commonwealth responsibilities in aged care. And so the suggestion that somehow this responsibility shifted from the states to the Commonwealth is false. It was always a state responsibility. And that's why I'm pleased that the states are working together as well, working with the Commonwealth. And that's why the Commonwealth today is, is happy to support the states through our own procurements of providing 10 million um, point of care rapid antigen tests to the states and territories.